Hello everybody, my name is Janusz van Nauf, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an asymmetric frequency separation with the use of the channel mixer adjustment layer. To do this we are going to need, first of all, a new group. Call this one frequency separation, luminosity, because we are using asymmetric frequency separation as I just said. Now I'm going to duplicate my background layer, call this one original, oops, original, and go to, is it edit? Not sure. Image adjustments desaturate, edit fade desaturate, and fade it to the hue mode. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer again, call this one low pass, and I'm going to convert the layer for smart filters. Next I'm going to add the Gaussian blur. I'm going to choose the radius of 15 pixels. And I'm going to double click on the layer and set the advanced blending, the fill, only to the blue channel so that we can see that in the channels only the blue channel is blurred, and all the other channels, the green and the red channel, look exactly the same, like the original luminosity. Next we're going to use the channel mixer adjustment layer to create the high pass. I'm going to call it high pass, and I want to create the high pass in the green channel. Now to create the high pass, I'm going to go to the green channel, and I'm going to use 50% of the green channel, negative 50% of the blue channel, and 50% as a constant. I'm going to explain the reason behind all these values later, but first of all I just wanted to show you how this works. Now I'm going to go back to the original, and as you can see it looks pretty... Uh, not so nice. <laughs> and. As you can see, the green channel now has high pass information in it, and the blue channel has a low pass information. Now if we want to work with the two, channel, uh, two channels, we can create a new layer, call it low pass. Again, double click on the layer, set the blending only to the blue channel, and now if you want to work with the low pass, we can do this on the low pass layer. As you can see, it's not the best idea to do some. I'm not sure what's happening right now. Ah, okay, sorry. Huh. So, next I'm going to duplicate this layer, call the duplicate high pass, double click on it and only fill the green channel. And now on this layer we can work with the high pass information. So we can activate our brush tool, our clone stamp, and just erase all the molds, all the blemishes from her face if we want to. And now to recombine both of the layers, I'm going to add a second channel mix uh, adjustment layer Call this one B plus 2 times G minus 1. I know it's a really great name. <laughs> I'm going to set the output to monochrome, the red channel to 0%, because the red channel is nothing that we really work with. But I'm going to add 200% to the green. 100% to from the blue channel, and I'm going to set the constant to negative 100%. Now we can set the blending mode of the lumina of the frequency separation group to luminosity, and as you can see, we're back with our original image. In fact, we can try it. Duplicate our background layer. the difference and set the mode to difference. 
And if we're going to use our histogram, we can see that the mean is 0 0.51 and that standard deviation is 0 0.5 as well. The nice thing about working with a setup like this is that we can choose the low pass on the fly and edit it on the fly, and the high pass will update automatically. Of course, this is more of a scientific experiment, and um, I just thought it's a lot of fun, and I don't know if there's really much real-world use for it, but as I just said, I think it's a lot of fun, and so maybe you like to work with it, with it as well. So now I wanted to explain why we choose the high pass values like 50%, negative 50, and plus 50. This is pretty simple to explain. Let's just see what we would usually use with our apply image. So I'm going to use an edit. Is it edit? No, it's image, apply image. And usually we would go to the low pass, choose blending, subtract, scale of 2 and an offset of 128. And so this is basically what we just did in the green channel. We subtracted 100% from the blue channel, 100% green, and we subtracted 100% from the blue. Then we divided both of these by 2, so we had 50% green and minus negative 50% of blue, and we added the offset of 128 or 50% to the constant. Now, to combine both of these layers, we use the linear light blending mode, and this is basically the background layer plus 2 times the current layer minus 100% luminosity, so minus one and this is again this is what we did we added a hundred percent of the blue channel so the, the low pass layer which would be in the background we added 200 percent of the green channel so the high pass layer that's the current layer to it and then we subtracted a hundred percent from the constant to account for the negative one so I hope you liked, liked it and maybe learned a thing or two. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, jonas underscore vendorf at web.de. Um, yeah, have a nice time. See you soon.